Hi friends, it's Pastor Ruth coming to you on Wednesday with a special message for the children. And as you can see, I'm here at the beach today visiting a friend of mine. I'm recording this over the weekend. And a good friend of mine invited me to come on this hot, hot weekend to visit her at her house at a beach. And I was delighted to do that. And so I came and so today I'm there and I'm going to take off this mask because nobody's near me at the moment so that I can talk to you and you can see me. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, I'm here every Wednesday with a special message for the children and every Sunday with a special worship service of prayer, scripture and reflection for the entire church family. And so over the summer, I have been talking to you about the parables of Jesus. And you'll remember that a parable is a made up story that involves people that helps us to understand a really important lesson that Jesus was trying to teach us. And so today, as I told you, a good friend of mine invited me to come on this hot day to the beach and I'm here uh, visiting her and I was really excited. So this morning I was getting everything together and I couldn't find the keys to my car. Now I always put my keys in the same place, but today I couldn't find them. And so I'm looking upstairs and I'm looking downstairs and I'm looking in my purse and I'm looking in my car and I couldn't find them and I couldn't feel what would I have done with them and then I remembered that yesterday I had gone grocery shopping and I had my arms full of groceries so I came into the house and just put the groceries down and I ju just dumped the keys on the counter and didn't put them back where I usually put them but I did remember finally and I did find them so I was able to get my keys and come here today so that would made me very happy because it's a hot day and I am able to get out and enjoy a nice breeze here I hope this wind isn't too much on the microphone that you are able to hear me but as I was looking for my keys, I thought of another parable of Jesus that I haven't talked to you about before, and that is the parable of the lost coin. So let me tell you first about that story that Jesus told, and then talk to you a little bit about it. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is like if a woman has 10 coins and she loses one of them. Is she gonna just say, ah, oh, well, I just lost a coin, no big deal. Or is she going to spend time looking like I looked for my keys today and look upstairs and look downstairs and look in her purse and look outside and try to find that one lost coin. And when she does find it, she's gonna be really happy and she's gonna tell her friends, I found it and I was able to do what I wanted to do with those coins. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like that. And God rejoices. God is happy and excited when something or someone who was lost is found. Now, you know our abiding Jesus. I hope you've had a chance to color him in and send us a picture of you with him. Well, at the very bottom, it says, I will be with you always. Jesus promises that he's always going to be with us. And he is just as excited when we go out of our way to be with him. And so he might say something like, I am so excited Amelia talked to me today. Or, I am so excited I heard from Logan and Eli today. Or, Connor and Leah and Kara remembered how much I love them today. And that really excites Jesus when we remember to be with him, just as he always remembers to be with us. That's the way it is with relationships. Jesus promises to be with us and we promise to also be with Jesus, to talk to him. One of the ways that we talk to Jesus is that we pray. Now, sometimes people pray before meals or before they go to bed, but you can pray anytime, anywhere, and you can say anything that you want to Jesus. So let's pray together now, okay? Jesus, we thank you that you've promised always to be with us and that you always are excited to hear from us. Amen. And so 
I invite you this week as a special thing to do to set aside a time each day to talk to Jesus, to talk to him about what's going on in your life and tell him what you're excited about and happy about. But you can also tell him those things that you're worried about or scared about because he's going to want to be there for you and with you. Now, down in the description below, I have a link to a special activity book about this same story that I told you today about the woman with the coin. And you can click on that and it's got puzzles and coloring uh, things and you can put it all together into a book when you want to. So I invite you to do that. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday when I will be here to tell you about another parable and a special message for the children. And I'll be here on Sunday and I look forward to seeing you then. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.